And welcome back to Gator Sniper playthrough of Tales of Berseria, where I have not recorded in a while. And there's, uh, the reason for it is just because I have not had enough real private time to record. And I mean, it's not even really a problem, the lack of private time I have to record. It's just like, when my dad's home, and I'm like, oh, I, I have the opportunity to record things. It's like, it's almost like getting caught masturbating, really, or being heard masturbating. It's just a really awkward situation where I'm like, I don't, I don't like doing that. Let's let's not do that in front of my dad. So yeah, uh, on that fucking hectic start to an episode, we are, uh, fuck. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's been a bit. Don't quite remember what we were doing. Oh, Red Scarf Knights, that's right. We're going to kill a person. Nice. Okay, cool. And these are the guys to talk to. These are the, the other... What are they, the Crimson Butterflies? I don't, they have some kind of uh, girly name. Who knows? Let's see. I heard the news. Stay sharp. Wow, thanks. You were a real fucking source of information, dude. I was like, yeah, go talk to Red Scarf guys. They know everything. There are fucking spies on the streets. Yeah, but they're disappointments in the sheets, so thanks. Ooh, and speaking of disappointments, I got a plain pendant. Thank God that could be an item in this game. So, yeah. Uh, the way it's set up, I think, I don't remember, we're getting another bit of information, I think, and that's why we're going around to kill this, uh, this person, like a church person, I think? It's someone important to the church, if I remember correctly. But, uh, there's a certain way to go about it, I suppose, and the only one that's going to know how to do it will be this red scarf guy, so let's go around looking. Great! Excuse me, fine guards in front of this giant fucking gateway would you be willing to let me pass yes yeah um, no not even gonna say anything no nope, no response whatsoever just completely stationary god there's not even a trace of movement that is just that is that is just a model set down all right jesus Christ. oh oh some red scarves oh and this one has words hello hello sir H hello i hear i hear you're a criminal what do you got to say look i'm not on your way into the villa you'll find who you're looking for up ahead oh did, did I mm, did I have to talk to any Red Scarf guys? I thought that was like something they specified, but I mean, that's the villa, isn't it? That's where we're going to go kill the guy? I uh, probably shouldn't be shouting that out, except it looks like everybody here has a Red Scarf. At least this one does. Uh, what about you guys? Yeah, yeah, they have Red Scarfs too. Cool, I'm glad the uh, fucking villa is being guarded by the only people that I'm friends with. That's very convenient for me. On that note, isn't it a little, like... Isn't it kind of against, like, a, a uniform dress code to be wearing those scarves? Like, I mean, I, I, it's not really much, uh, I doubt, like, it's one of those things that really matter anyways. It's just like, like, oh, I'm wearing my uniform, I guess I have this other small thing I can wear with it, but... Fuck. It's starting to turn into, like, gang colors over here. There's, like, a half of the city guards wearing these red scarves, and they are... It, it actually does represent them being a part of, like, some fucking criminal organization. Don't the other guards feel a little weirded out by that? Like, what the fuck? Why is, why is half the city guard uh, wearing these red scars? Where do I get one? Why can't, why can't I wear my own uniform? And then they all start fighting each other because, like, it's, a, it's just they're, they're segregating themselves. Look at that. He's trying to look different. All right. The soldiers on patrol in the sanctuary are the real thing. Keep your distance from them. He doesn't even attempt to turn and look at me. These models are so fucking blank. Thanks. In the garden, there's a priest that likes cats. Probably best to leave him alone. I th oh, that, yep. Yeah, th that guy, I guess. <laughs> Hello? Do, are, I don't remember anything about this character over there. Are you important? I mean, everything you're standing with is also complete. Oh, no, no, I saw a twitch of a tail. Yeesh. Yeah, maybe the maybe the kind of hut of an overworld in this game is a little maybe a little lacking. Who knows? How about you guys? You're not wearing scarves, so you're po you're not part of my gang. The cathedral is closed for today. Come back tomorrow. Thanks. What about priest over there with the cats? Are you, are you do, do you have a red scarf or a red cat? What the fuck? I'm am kind of at a loss. Oh, oh my god! I'm retarded. I forgot that this game has quest markers. Why was I looking for the red scarf guy? I thought I had to find this myself. God damn, I'm stupid. I watched. I walked right past them. Okay, here, but my papers. You didn't even look at them. Uh huh. I bet. It, uh huh. Okay. I. It was so like. It's so kind of weird in my eyes. I thought he was like pretending to be like, let me see your papers so I can get you into the the uh, the cathedral, and then he's just like, oh, all right, into the into the sewers you go. <laughs> like fuck. This is how they get into the cathedral here. Oh, oh. You okay? You still think I'm gonna choke you? I might. I mean, I. You never know. There's always time to choke you, Luffy. Uh huh. Yep. Good job, kid. Someone throw him into the fucking sewer. He deserves it. 
Uh -huh. Oh yeah, they get flushed down the the fucking toilets all the time. I, you know what? I'm not even going to grace that with a fucking. I'm not even going to grace that with like an actual question of whether people actually flush crocodiles down uh, their toilets into the sewers. I think it was just entirely proven to be like an uh, urban legend, or is that an urban myth? No, it's urban legend, right? We're, mm, I don't know. Urban myth sounds cooler, though. That should be like the step up of an urban legend. Also, what do you have to the say? Uh huh. That's what they're called. Blood. Who the I fuck are the crimson butterflies? Isn't that a thing too? And they so have confused. Uh huh. To facilitate this little yeah. Too. They sure do, they and they're all wearing these really telltale red scarves, like really giving themselves the away. Uh huh. Here's a juicy morsel do they? About them. That'd be they cool. They make sure even their corpses uh. go to good use. Uh huh. Uh -huh. They turn into soil and green. Uh huh. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to I this I think she's very making passage. the shit up, kid. He Don't listen to her. To escape, uh huh. Crunch! How's that making good use of his body? Uh huh. And it was giving them the finger, and that's how he used his corpse to his full potential. From this, two uh -huh. important facts were learned. Uh huh. What were they? First, they learned uh -huh. of the existence uh -huh. of this passage. How is does that is, that doesn't mm, meet in town. I mean I guess they know the existence of the passage but oh, oh I see what you were doing ah ha ha if it's so tasty mm. I'll have to try it uh huh oh, look at that fucking evil smirk on Velvet's face my God I think God why is everyone so mean to Magi Lu like sure she fucks with them but she's 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 my favorite. That didn't sound like it was joke. calming anyone down. Yeah, I totally uh -huh. made up that part about the crocodile. Uh huh. Mama curry is actually made uh -huh. from man eating catfish. Who man eating catfish would. Oh, okay. Bye, Mogulus. <laughs> man eating catfish actually sounds like it'd be an interesting thing to see. Just like a giant fucking Let's catfish. It'd be like that monster in Monster Hunter, the Jiratados. That's okay. You're in the fucking water. You're about to be crunched on on by some fucking crocodile. Also, hello. Hey, according to the drawings, I saw you need to go through some pipe passages. Figure like that, you might get stuck. Ooh, he's talking about your booby and your butt. Thanks for the warning. Cool. What if I switch characters? Is well, you know what? I never, I've never checked that before. Let's see. Uh, how do I? Is it? Is it? Loppy said. What do you say? To, no, that's not the one. And I do not want to play as Loppy said. How do I? Oh, leader. Oh, okay. I'll take the lead. Yeah, sure, creepy kid. Hello. Hey, according to the drawing, you need some. T well, figure like that. Okay, no, it's still specific to Velvet. It's just I'm I'm now a child. You know, this is actually kind of entertaining. I kind of like running around the overworld as a tiny child. Let's do this for a bit. All right, God, he runs so fucking weirdly too. Oh, oh, we drained the water. Cool. I wonder if that's a thing. Well, yeah. You know what? Oh, he. Okay, new paths. Cool. Easy to draw. Hey, yeah, I was about to ask if like you'd want that, and I was like, yeah, you probably would, because if you if it started raining and your your sewers started flooding to a point, and then it got like too big or too overflow flooded, yeah, that would suck. Sorry, I'm a little off my shit. Hello, what was? Oh, oh, that's a hard enemy. Oh, we're staying away from that. Fuck that shit. I'm out of here. Also, wait, where was that? Oh no, fuck. I'm stupid. Okay, the pathway that I wanted to go down is over here. Oh boy, they lowered the water for cat spirits. Oh my god, it was only cat spirits, and this probably useless item. Yep, how did I know it would be a tarnished silver coin? Thank god, I, I, I guess I just figured out water can be lowered. Good, good learning, kid. So, my friends and I, the friends of mine that are, uh, that are well acquainted with the Tales of series, uh, we were talking about how long of a, a series on YouTube this would be if I continued doing it like I have been doing it. And this game is about 70 hours long if you just kind of like play through it. And then uh, I'm doing like, I'm doing like 25 minute recordings. Hello, slime. I'm doing 25 minute recordings and with the math on it, I don't know if it's right, but the math we got out of it was that this series would be about like, 130 episodes long, so yeah, and this, this series might just be a little bit long, no worries. Oh my god, fucking Laffy's head, Jesus Christ. But yeah, this might be a very long fucking series, or more likely, I'm gonna fucking change up how I record this fucking playthrough, but we'll get about we'll get to that when we get to it. Honestly, my my idea for how to do it is cause, like recording this this game every two weeks, even that's like a little like eh, I don't wind up wanting to do that. So I think this might end up being a series where it's like kind of uh, intermittent about how often it comes on, but I'll record for like an extra long time, 
and I'll fuck and I'll edit the videos in a way where it's like maybe it'll be like a longer There's episode, the and then I'll fucking upload it in right some way. But yeah, just trying to get Every through this game at a faster rate than here. what I'm going through right now is my main objective. Meanwhile, what's going on here? Whole building of mass. Uh huh. Uh huh. On the inside. Yeah, everybody think about that. Except isn't the city like impossible to infest with demon shit? Because like everyone's everyone's happy in the city, right? Isn't demonism a whole thing of like they have to be pretty uh, like fucked up about something? Ah. What? They lure demons in and then ignore Oh, so demons are getting in here. Oh, that's right. There's demons in this fucking dungeon right here. Huh? Ah. Cool. Well, I'm glad we could hypothesize about everything that's going on here. Uh, Apple Joe, don't have room. Also, I see what you f Oh, maybe not. You know, I was thinking- Oh, no, it totally was one of those things. Okay. Yeah, putting the fucking treasure chest in one corner with no fucking trap and then just directly across there. Oh, more collectibles. Just instinctively go run and get that. And then you piss off every goddamn monster between you and fucking Kansas so you just have a bad time running around. Actually, you know what? With that fucking- with that realization in mind, maybe I should be a little more careful about which collectibles I run and grab. Oh boy, tarnished silver coins, totally worth dying to a slime over. Uh, what the fuck? This map is very, very spread out. I don't... I wonder which way I should be going. Alright, let's just do another fucking loppy set punch. Just like, unleash all of his anger. Jump, pachow! Yeah, just like that. And, is this... do I want to go this way? Where am I fuck? Oh god. I think this kid's gonna be stuck in the sewers for a while now. This is like one of those fucking indie games where you just have this character going around places like this, and he's just trying to like find his way out of the sewers and some weird psychological horror. It's it's gonna be a bad time. Oh hello, oh hello. It's a big old roly poly. Hello, hello roly poly. There's no there's no real reward in here for fighting you. I mean, the reward is to just kill them, get XP, and then get money for turning into bounties, but. Damn, I really just don't want to, like, I'm going through this game, at, like, right now is just wanting to kind of, you know, oh, I already fucking went through that. I'm going at this game really skipping over every mob fight, which is not the smartest idea. I guess I'll just have to fucking grind off camera at some point, like I've done with Pokemon Coliseum, but maybe you should think of a better way to do it. I mean, fuck, it's not my fault all these monsters are so easy to avoid. Like, they just fucking drop down and then they don't do anything else. It's like, hi, and yeah, fuck, I'm just gonna walk right on by. Little asshole. Aw, oh, he's so cute, though. It's one of my favorite slime designs. Well, speaking of slime designs, it can, it's, uh, it could be Gator Snapper's fucking anime uh, recommendation hour, my favorite fucking thing. There's this one show about this guy that goes into a parallel universe after dying and he turns into a slime. It's a really nice show, it's really cutesy. It's, uh, you, it's, I, I'm not gonna say it's like any fucking, like, it's not anything that's really breaking the mold, I'd say, but I still think it's a pretty alright show. I enjoy watching it. It's fun. And I like the characters. I like him being a slime, to too. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're but working on that, Velvet. Velvet, you're interrupting my fucking... my... my thing. Oh. You're interrupting my anime hour. Oh, that was cute. Keep doing that. Magalu, you're, you're my favorite. No. If there's nothing wrong with her decision. She's just trying to, like, fucking pick a direction to go. Which way do you think is best? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Kill Moggy Lou. Join the flow. Oh, God, yeah, Luffy said it's like an abused fucking dog. There must uh -huh. be a way up somewhere. Uh -huh. Let's find it. Well, shit. Thank God we had this little fucking chat. So useful. Oh, good, now we're given another fuck. They really fucking bombard you with these dialogues. All right, come on, who's High Priest Gideon? Let me hear it. Why so glum, mm -hmm. Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged why, conscience. No, why would it? She's Not killed like a million people so but far. I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Because Moggy hey, was great. That's all there is to it. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. Eh. I wonder if it's easier. I wonder if it's him? easier to be the person that killed someone else, or to be the kind of like stand by accomplice us. for it. Huh? I think it really depends One on the, the person's is that points this high of view. Is real shady uh -huh. character. Isn't the every high priest? Isn't that now. just how it goes? But three years ago, uh -huh. no one had heard of them. Really? Oh, the damn. The this church really fucking days. popped but off fast. Like, three years and they already have, like, the entire world under uh, fucking their sway. Mm -hmm. 
Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. I mean, you, no one fucking saw what a Malakim was. They're all invisible, apparently. The nasty power struggle uh -huh. swept through the ranks. Uh -huh. Many vied for the mantle of high priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts. And then, they what do you know? A charlatan, power-hungry convert was one that fucking got in charge of everything. Oh, poison. Accidents. Uh -huh. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Yay. <laughs> So, Artorius is a good guy, though. Artorius. Oh, wait, no, this is, this church isn't... So, I guess this church isn't really associated with Artorius' group, with the Exorcist? Is that it? I don't know. Because I just feel like if Artorius... Artorius is as, like, lawful good as it gets, to the point where he's, like, making stupid decisions and whatnot. I feel like if he saw someone kind of being, like, an evil dick, he'd try and root them out. Or maybe we got, that's this verse is going to be like a whole fucking turnaround where like the guys that hired us were also working for Artorius. That would suck. Oh, and I got a top hat. Oh, how, how, how fucking swell. I should fucking max out uh, this little kid's fucking look as hard as possible. Except I think for, ooh, you have a limit to what you can put on people. It's like a, uh, ooh, it, you've got like points for everything. I'll work on a costume piece later off camera, but I think I have something in mind already that I'm sure everyone will be excited about. And oh boy, you'll never guess what character's gonna get it. The only one I truly hate. I don't even hate fucking little boy whose name I don't remember. I just don't care for him. Enough to not even remember his own fucking name. Oh boy, bronze scrap. I feel like Tales of games, especially the more recent ones, really glorify, like, picking up trash. Like, bronze scraps, little fucking pieces of coin, like, f fucking fruits and vegetables. It really is just like a pick up your trash kind of a thing. It, this game encourages going out in the streets and just picking up, uh, all sorts of nasty stuff that's all lying around. And I guess finding, uh, like, sewer vases of flowers. This still doesn't make sense to me. This is even weirder than the fucking time there's a fucking weird sage growing in a cave with no sunlight. Why is there just a potted plant down here? With lavender, no less. Very odd. I guess someone's living down here. I could I could believe that. There's still no sunlight, but we're not going to question it. It's got plenty of nutrients. Plenty of shit to live off of. Now, the question is, do I actually go in the direction that I just lowered the water? Because there is literally only dead ends ahead of me. Like, shit, I'm amazed this game- I'm surprised this game actually doesn't just put on a fog of war. Why? Well, I, I don't know. It would be really frustrating to explore and end up going, like, finding nothing, basically, except all these dead ends here. But, uh, I don't know. Eh. It, like, having a map that just tells me where everything is also just kind of encourages me to, like, if I see these areas with dead ends, to not really check it out. Especially because all the fucking treasure chests I find in this game are basically full of trash that I don't want. Like I said, glorifies picking up trash. I miss the days where I open a treasure chest and I find this stupidly broken magic item. That doesn't happen enough in this game. I mean, actually, you know what? It does. You know, not stupidly broken magic items, but I do, I've picked up plenty of rings and weapons from treasure chests. I'm never impressed with them. I never pick up a weapon in this game. I'm like, oh boy, I can't wait to equip this. They're all kind of just, eh. They just, they just have better stats and they look a little different. Nothing ever seems flashy to me, and I like flashy. Especially if it's a fucking treasure I picked up in a dungeon. I want it to look good when I swing with it. I think there's a weapon in Tales of Symphonia. Well, it's like the final fucking weapon, so maybe this doesn't count. But when you get, like, the dual swords that, uh, you, you, spoilers, someone left for you, because I don't want to actually spoil it, I guess, because I still think it's a game that holds up that people could want to play and be surprised about. But yeah. You get these awesome swords, and they look cool, and I think they, they're they flashy when they hit. I might be remembering this through the uh, the rose-colored glasses of nostalgia, but I don't know. I feel like fucking picking up uh, we we like items and weapons in Symphonia felt a little nicer. Who knows? Oh, I found the save point, and I didn't even have to explore the rest of the dungeon. And I found the teleportation circle. And now that's good to go, right? Like, I've activated it? I hope so, otherwise I'm going to have a hard time fucking coming back here. Alright, well, let's just fucking sneak into someone's uh, nice little fucking safe cathedral and kill some people. Great. This is what I've always wanted to do. When it, oh, hmm. Yeah, let's not say that. A library. Oh. This is it? Expected. People can have libraries. They're nice. Oh, wow. God. Never mind. Lafayette likes it. It's ruined. Thanks, Lafayette. <laughs> Oh. Isn't this a rare so does that make this guy we're about to kill, like, not 
someone we want to kill? Seems... Oh. Oh my god, Mog, you found the secret passageway surprisingly oh, easy. Oh, and you found the real bookcase. Oh, Can thanks. Thank God, well, Moggy Lou. No, but oh. I just great. This has nothing to do with our job. Yeah, but it's still money. Take the books and sell them. It'd be great. And look, you're making a little lofty sick cry and shit. Okay, just steal a random book for him. That's fine. Here, stop whining. This is an you apology for choking you it. before. Don't pretend to be oh. normal. You're consorting with I mean, demons. two demons and then a Maliki, two Malakims, including you yourself, and whatever the fuck Mogulu is. Damn. Up. Yeah. Did you forget we're here to kill? You know, Rogue Girl, that's true. You're going through this pretty lightheartedly. Huh? But this one has all the plot in it. This is the Tales of Berseria walkthrough guide right here. You can't just give that up. All right, got the villa book. I guess I don't really get to know what it's called until later, but I know what it is, because I played part of this game. Yeah, part of this game, what I thought was going to be like three quarters getting through this game, it turned out to only be like, uh, less than half. It was a pretty good time. Ooh, there are 3,000 orderlies and 100 praetors in active duty. Oh, that's actually a really useful stat to just pick up and learn, except I think they already talked about it before. Whatever. So, like at number three is Artorius Cobra. Is that like the highest rank, or is he third highest? Oh, no. Okay, so second most powerful is Melchior, and then four... Wait, shit. Four is after... Is he the most powerful? If he's number four... Is he more powerful than, um... What's his name? The other guy? Artorius? I don't understand their rankings. Who knows? Maybe number one is, like, the most powerful, and Artorius is... T the main villain of this game is somehow number three in rank of power. That's like in Bleach when Ukiora was, like, the final fucking boss that, uh... Ichigo and them had to fight, or I guess it's just Ichigo, spoilers. Well, anyways, on that fucking note, I'm gonna end this episode right here, so yeah. It's been a Gator Snapper playthrough, see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.